Good afternoon, guys. This is Sheila D. I am in the kitchen today. I was listening to some good music, and I had my breakfast, and I am on my way to work for the evening. But um, I'm going to get right into the video. This pot here is a crock pot, and this is what I'm going to use. I'm on my way to work, and I'll be at work from four to five hours, okay? So what I have in this pan here is some pork neck bones. Over here, I got some white potatoes. In this container here, I got some beef broth, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that. I have some garlic, some onions, and green peppers, and I have my season. And I'm going to show you how I prepare um, these neck bones. <clears throat> but before I get right into the video um, on how to prepare the neck bones, I want to acknowledge this fan here. This fan, um, the reason why I wrote the name down, because I want to make sure I got the right person. And they asked me for this video, so this is for you. Thank you for supporting me, and God bless you. Also, I want to acknowledge another fan that I see the name quite often, give me good compliments and encouragement. And this is one of my other fans. But last but not least, this is my favorite fan. And I mean, this fan here supports me every day on every video and i thank you and god bless you for the support guys so we are going to finish up the video right now so what i have in this pan here is some um, pork neck um neck bones now neck bones don't have a lot of meat on them so what i do is before i put them in my crock pot because i'm finna leave and go to work but i want them done when i come back so I use this pork season, and I put them into the pan, and I'm just letting them simmer now. So we are going to get into the seasonings that I use, guys. So I got a teaspoon of pepper. I am going to sprinkle into my pan. And I have this flour here. I got a flour. So in this pan here, this container rather, I got some beef broth. So I am going to put my flour into my beef broth. Now I'm going to let that set for a minute, guys. And then we are going to get over here. So what I did is I cut up a lot of garlic. So I'm going to add that into the pan. And I got me some... Onion powder here, I'm adding. And I got me some all natural season on here, I'm gonna put it in there. Also, over here, I got me some chopped onions, and I'm gonna throw them into the pan with my pork. And I am gonna stir it up and just let that cook. And blend in so over here guys remember I put the tablespoon of flour into my chicken broth so I am gonna stir that up nicely so then also I have a green back bell pepper here so what I am gonna do over here into this Crock pot. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer because I want my onions to cook a little bit. Because we are gonna take our neck bones, garlic, onions, and season, and we are gonna put it into the crock pot over there. So what we are gonna do is add a pork into the crock pot, neck bones. And the reason why I do this, guys, is put my neck bones into the pan and brown them first. 
and put the seasoning and all that good stuff into the pot. Just because I want all the flavors to soak into the meat. Crock pots are nice to cook in when you are away from home. You can cut them on and just cook. So I am going to add my neck bones to the crock pot, all of them now, guys. Okay, so in my pan, guys, I'm gonna show you what I have here. I have all the drippings off of the neck bones. So when I put my neck bones into the pan to brown them, all I used was um, beef broth. So I am going to pour all of my garlic and onions into the crock pot. And over here, guys, we have some white potatoes. Now, what I do with my white potatoes, I always soak them before I cook them, okay? So we are going to pull this water off of our white potatoes. And we are going to add them into our crock pot. As you notice, guys, I did not put any water into the crock pot so what i am gonna do is i am going to add my chicken broth and my flour that i mix together and we are going to add that into the crock pot so then we are going to take and cut up um green pepper guys and we are going to put that into our crock pot okay so what i'm gonna do with this green pepper is i am just gonna set it on top want to check and see all right so guys as far as chicken broth and I put maybe a cup of water into this pot so in this pot here we don't have a lot of water in the pot let me see can I pull it out it might not be too hot because I want to show you just how much water is in this pot See, you don't have a lot of water, guys, in your crock pot, okay? Do not fill your crock pot up with water, okay, because we want all our flavors. So we are going to take now and put our crock pot top on. We're going to close it up, and we are going to turn this crock pot on high and... Then we're going to come back to it in about four, maybe five hours. I'll be home from work and it should be done. And then I'll come back with another video and I'll show you how my um, pork neck bones turned out. Okay. Guys, I hope I was able to show you something good today to help you prepare a nice meal for you and your family. God bless you and see you on the next video.